Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. No new announcements for today. So let's go and take a look at the screenshot for this week. So it looks like here we got Alia. She looks pretty sad. She's definitely in Marinette's room. She looks maybe not sad, more just surprised. The only episode that's coming to mind, because I sort of like recognize the background here, uh, would be Gang of Secrets when uh, like Marinette told Alia that she was Ladybug. But honestly, this could be any episode. So... I don't really know, that's just my best guess, so let me know if I'm right or wrong down in the comments below. But moving right along into the actual video, a meme I made for the episode Frighten Gale. Is this Ladybug? Yes, Cat Noir, it is most definitely Ladybug. <laughs> oh man, this episode is crazy. Spoilers! Kudo Neko episode in a nutshell. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, don't watch or skip this part or something. Kudo Neko, in a nutshell, we have made no progress whatsoever. Good night. Yeah, okay. So basically, we we had the build up for season four. They had their big fight and now we're back to normal. So yeah, but I didn't think things will go down in the finale. So yeah, cause you know, Ladybug did kiss Cat Noir. So, you know, I'm just, just throwing that out there in case you forgot about that, haha. <laughs> Hmm. Kitten War, before his power-up in my comic, Tremel, I, I know I pronounced that wrong, it looks like a French word, uh, Elmo Noir haunts my dreams. Alright, so we got some Cat Noir poses here, and we got Elmo Noir up there in the top, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, definitely go check this guy out, or gal, this person, out. Uh, yeah, they got good artwork, I like the style, it's very nice. <laughs> the, 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 the Elmo Noir, that's too funny. Just realized that the Bee Miraculous is a hair comb because bees make honeycombs. You know, I never really thought about it that much, but it does make sense. It's a very cool little Easter egg there, I guess. So we're not gonna talk about this. Kudo Neko spoilers. Again, if you haven't seen it, skip this post. Yes, Natalie wearing the prosthetics, the robotic arms, very cool. Uh, this is new. To Kudo Neko, because Ephemeral was 22, right? I think. So she wasn't wearing these in Ephemeral. So, uh, yes, definitely, you know, a new thing. So it's very cool to see that technology is advanced in their world. Not in our world, though. But, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. So it's good that she's able to be mobile again. So. Yeah, it was pretty cool to see that. Finished my Mayura cosplay finally. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Wow. So I remember here on the Reddit that they posted uh, some of their earlier photos. We didn't see, we haven't had any updates in a while or maybe they just didn't get uploaded enough, but this looks really cool. It's so good, yeah. It's, it's come a long way. I remember seeing the updates and it was just like the little tail parts there. But yeah, it looks very nice. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Today I realized, can character in love with bug character even though bug character does not feel the same way about them? Very cool. I definitely know who the top right character is. <laughs> Catwoman? <laughs> Relax guys, I know it's not Catwoman because this is Marvel. Catwoman's DC, I know guys. Okay, relax, relax. I'm just joking with you, just joking. <laughs> uh, so I have no idea who that character is in the web. Uh, it looks like some sort of spider woman, but that's probably just because of Spider-Man's webs. So, you know, very cool though. I know who Spider-Man is, so bug character, very cool. Although there is a difference between a ladybug and a spider, so, you know. But still, bug, I guess. These parallels are insane. Rocketeer versus Capelong. Uh, I'm going to say that one's probably more of a coincidence. Just, you know, my intuition here, but yes, very cool. Very nice that you pointed this out, but I, I do think this is probably more of a um, a coincidence, or I don't know really how much uh, this, like how much or how the storyboarding process works, but what they could have done, since they made Capelong before Rocketeer, 
they could have just taken the storyboard from Camp Along, like this scene specifically, and then just edit it. And so that's why it looks similar and it, you know, maybe paces similarly because they just copied it. So that way they didn't have to do as much work and then just changed the details that they needed to. So that could be an explanation, but I don't think it was intended to be a parallel. It was more of just, these two look similar. Not really meant to mean anything, I don't think. His dad finally gave him pajamas. Yes, the well-deserved pajamas from Kuroneko. You see, I'm so glad that this subreddit is actually talking about a new episode. I think it helps that the episode came out on a Monday. I mean, glue episodes are typically on a Monday or Tuesday, so eh, yeah. But I, I'm just, I'm very happy, okay? Because, you know, the past few episodes, there hasn't been very many posts about the new episode. But now we have a lot of relevant posts. So thank you, Reddit people, for posting about current events and episodes. Fantastic. But yeah, pajamas, finally. We needed to see those a long time ago. This clip lives rent free in my head. All right, so we got a video clip. Let's see what this is. I do not have audio. You probably do. I'm supposed to smile, but I'm also supposed to save people. This is a complicated choice. I'll have to rewatch this in editing and see what the audio says, but yeah, very fun. <laughs> this was Simple Man, wasn't it? I think this was Simple Man. So. Or was it? I don't know. I don't remember what episode this was. So, you know, it's it's a fun time. But yes, I'm sure you guys can appreciate this a lot more than I can because I cannot see this. But yeah, very fun. <laughs> cat supremacy. My favorite cats. I love them so much. Adrian and Julica. Aren't they the only cats? Just saying, you know, it's like when someone says, you're my favorite daughter, but there's only one daughter. Like, what is that supposed to mean? You know, it's like, hmm. Very interesting. I don't know what that means. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Reading into it more than I should, but you know. Just saying, I think there's only two cats, so. Okay, but yes, very nice. We don't see very much of Julika. I don't remember her hero name, but we don't see very, or Purple Tigress, that's what it was. We don't really see too much of her though. So, yeah, we will see her in Penalty Team though. He is the best. Plague is the best Kwame in the show. I would agree with that because Plague is relatable and funny and amazing. So yeah, I agree. I don't, I'm okay. There are definitely some people who disagree with that, but I would say maybe 75%, if not a little bit more, of people would say, Plague's definitely the best. Plaguefield. Oh, sweet, it's Garfield. I require cheese, Adrian. Get into the ring. Fun. <laughs> it's very simple, and it's like, it's, it's, that's what makes it comedic. Yeah, so. Very fun. I'd like to see this. This could really be expanded and be something great. I'd love to see more of this. True. The eyes, the tail. He looks so powerful. I love this. What episode is this from? Is this Kuro Neko? No, August 13th. What episode was this from? I don't know. You guys will have to let me know because that's... It looks very cool. I like this transition. I don't know what episode this is from. I want, I want to rewatch it. And for the Tom Post of the Week, please let Kitty Section have another song. When someone asks Kitty Section to perform a song, I love unicorns, take it or leave it. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe the reason why they can't is because Adrian's so low on time, they can't include him on making a new song. And they want to include him. So maybe that's why. Or maybe just the show writers are too lazy. Uh, one option is definitely more viable than the other, but they are both realistic. So I will let you decide whichever one you think it is, or if there's a third option, or a fourth or a fifth. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let me know which one you think down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Spoilers. Kudo Neko Ipilibla. Just realize that the Bee Miraculous is a hair comb because honey bees, honey, honey, because bees, bees make honey combs. Pretty sure that's honey bees, but well, it just says bees. Okay. Thank you.